Hey you guys, it's Megan. So I am like beaming with excitement right now and oh my god, I'm just so excited. So I have been wanting to do a seasonal challenge for a while. I got out of doing them because I just felt like so overwhelmed by everything and you guys know I, at the beginning of this year I started a Project 10 pan which I haven't done in a very long time and I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad that I have a long time frame. It's not really a big stress or anything for me so I feel like I am at a good place and I want to add a seasonal challenge to my project list and I want a longer challenge. So I am really excited because I am starting this challenge because July 4th is my birthday and I'm turning 24 so finish 24 by July 4th I thought was very fun to me and I was trying to I was like four by fourth of July that that probably exists honestly and if it doesn't it should but I don't want to finish four products in four months I want to really challenge myself so it's like let's do 24 products because I'm turning 24 and it has four and fourth of July it just seems like perfect and so I have four months to do it and why not even make it more sadistic of me and do a project pan roulette. <laughs> so, 24 products, 4th of July, four months, project pan roulette. So I have been really obsessed with watching project pan roulettes. I think that this idea is amazing. I'm not sure who started the roulette thing, but you are a freaking queen girl because what a fun way to mix things up and then to do it at random. So I've been wanting to do a project pan roulette as well and so I thought I would just throw it into this project and make it even more crazy and even more fun and to make it like the nth degree of insanity. My parents and my sister are gonna pick three products for me to use in this project. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick 27 items myself and then my parents and my sister are each going to pick one so that's three more so I'm going to have 30 products in this project which is like do I even have 30 products but we will we will find a way to have 30 products so I have over a hundred different categories that I put in here and I'm going to type all of the ones that I listed for myself for ideas for you guys. I just was watching Suits last night and I was typing ideas while I was doing it and so I have them all typed up anyhow so I thought why not just share them with you guys to give ideas and stuff because it did kind of take me a while to come up with over a hundred ideas and so I just then cut them out and folded them up so I don't know what they are and they're all mixed up and together and I'm terrified yet so excited I can't even explain it like for it to be ending on my birthday is even more exciting to me I know obviously not everyone's birthday is the 4th of July but I would love if some of you guys join me on this project or even just picking like any number to finish by 4th of July if like a lot of us do it and we all have videos on the 4th of July I just think that'd be really fun and it's on a Monday so I hope everyone has off because I mean, you should if you live in America, but I'm just so excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my 27 items now and then I'm going to pick all my products, show you guys those, and then I will insert when my, my mom, my dad, and my sister pick the items. And yeah, so this is going to be like the craziest, weirdest, longest video of all time, but I am so excited. I can't explain it. I am so nervous right now. Okay, so I'm gonna get started picking 27 of these sheets of paper. So, God, this is gonna be a nightmare, I swear. Okay, the first one is a product that costs $10 or less. Okay. <sighs> Close your eyes and pick a cheek product. Oh, God, that's like... I put those in for fun because I thought it would be fun, and now I'm like, why did I ever do that? I'm a sadist, I swear. Okay, a product you don't like. 
That's a good one. I'm not sure what I'll pick for any of these yet. I've been thinking about this all day. It got me through my Monday today. You guys are seeing this on Saturday, but it got me through my day. Your favorite highlighter hit pan. So for any of the ones that are like specifically blush highlight, uh, like powder products, I put in parentheses hit pan because there's like no way I'm going to finish like powder products in four months. Who knows if I'll even be able to hit pan in four months. Okay, let's see. A colorful eye product. Mm. Oh my God, all of you guys who have done this before, you've inspired me so much. This is so much fun. A face product, so that's very vague. I tried to put in vague ones, so then it gave me like wiggle room. Oh no, okay. I'm like shaking you guys. Your least favorite perfume. I was kind of hoping to get this one because then I work through my least favorite perfume. That would be, that would be really great. Okay. <laughs> I feel like an evil scientist right now. A product you carry in your purse. For me, that's lip products. So that's gonna be a lip product. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm not even counting you guys. I'm really dropping the ball. A long time favorite. That is such a good one. Okay, so I- One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it's number 10. Number 10. Your favorite face product. Hmm, I wonder what that is. My favorite face product. I don't know. A hair product. Oh crap, I lost count again. I think that's 11. <laughs> I'm doing so bad at keeping track of the numbers. Okay. A product from a previous project. That has a lot of alliteration in it as well. All right. I challenge you guys to do a project pan roulette. Even if it's like a really, like a small amount, I think it's so much fun. An expensive makeup product. <laughs> okay. I think that's 12. Your most recent purchase. And I haven't been shopping a lot, so I'll have to think about that one. Okay. A unique product. That's like, I didn't really know what I meant by that, but I think like something that's not really like the rest of what I use and own. A mini makeup product. God, I hope I have some freaking mini products. Do I even have mini makeup products? I have like a little mini blush, but oh God. What have I done, you guys? Like, why am I doing this to myself? A product you loved in college. Oh, I love so many things in college. Oh, I think I know what I'm gonna do for that. I think what's gonna be my problem with this is that I am also doing my Project 10 pan, which has a lot of makeup in it. An expensive product. Didn't I have, I think another one was like an expensive makeup product. So I have to pick another expensive product, which I should be using up, is the expensive stuff. Okay, I'll need a count after this one again. A lip balm. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty
product with cute packaging. This was inspired by Emily R. Cause she uh, did this and she picked the her blush, the Simpsons blush. So I remembered her and I wanted to do that one and I'm glad I picked that one cause that's really fun. Okay. A product that costs $5 or less. So I had a $10 or less and a $5 or less. Okay, let me count again. <laughs> Oh my god, 26, so I only have to pick one more. God, thank god I counted just then. Alright, last one. What's gonna be? Be a good one, not a bad one. Do something easy. Easy, please be easy. God. A product I recommended in a video. So there's a lot of things I could do for that one. Okay, so I have picked 27. I have 27 items. So I'm going to go rummage through my stuff, figure out what I'm gonna pick, and then once I pick, then like my family is gonna pick theirs. So I could have made it really easy for myself or like easier if they picked it first and I based my choices off what they picked. But I thought, why not be a little more evil and make this even more impossible? So I'm going to pick these and I'll be right back to share with you what I picked. Okay, so my family is going to pick. They're all going to each pick one of the things. Oh, God, I'm so nervous. This is evidence. Okay, what'd you get? Oh, shit, what? A body scrub. Okay, that's easy. Your favorite and body lotion. Ooh! <laughs> Your favorite eyeshadow. Oh, oh God. God! That's hard! I already picked all mine and I can't change them. Okay, you guys like didn't really... Favorite. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Okay, thank you guys for participating. All right, you guys, so that legit took me like an hour to do. So if I look like sweaty and like crazy... It's because it took so long to figure all this out. So I have all the products in front of me. I feel like this is going to be the craziest project in the world. Like I am so scared and so excited at the same time. I'm like really overwhelmed right now. Okay, so I, t I put all the names of the thing on here and then I'm gonna type up what the category is and then what the product is so then I can keep track of everything and it'll just save me from losing all of my sanity because I think I'm literally certifiably insane for doing this. Okay, so my rose, I can't even talk. I'm like so crazed right now. Okay, my most recent purchase is the Skin Fix Cleansing Oil. And I have not used this at all. It's completely brand new. I have been looking forward to using this. So I'm excited that it's in this project and I'll get to figure out if I like it or not. The product with cute packaging, I picked the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Body Butter. I have not even used this yet because I've been working through all my other body lotions. So um, I, I knew that I would pick this once I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I was like, that has the cutest packaging. So I'm picking that for this category. For a unique product, I picked the May Coop Raw Sauce. And as you can see, I'm up here. So I have most of the bottle to go. This is a really unique product to me because it's an essence that you put on your skin after cleansing, but before your serum and moisturizer. And it helps to act as a humectant and just keep moisture in. So I'm really excited about trying this out some more because I haven't really used much of it at all. Okay, the NCLA nail oil I picked for a product I haven't used in a while. So this is just like a cuticle oil. I haven't used like any of it. I had to like wipe off dust. That is how long I have not used it. There's a shit ton of makeup, you guys. Okay, so I'm getting to that you're gonna freak okay so a product that costs five dollars or less i picked the soap and glory hand food hand cream this is four dollars for the 50 milliliter size okay for my least favorite perfume i picked the Katy perry royal revolution and i marked where i am which is 
barely at all down in the bottle, but I think this is only one fluid ounce. It's a small size, so I don't think this will be, oh wait, here it says, yeah, one fluid ounce. So that shouldn't be too bad. It's not a gross scent. It's not something I hate, but it definitely is my least favorite, and it's one that I have been like trying to remind myself to work on anyway, so I'm excited that I'll be using that in this project. And then, of course, I got also my favorite perfume, which is the Vince Camuto, and I marked it up here. This is a giant, giant bottle. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce, but I really neglect this perfume because I have received and purchased so many other ones that I've been using more, so I do want to work on this. I doubt I'll use all this up. That would just be insane, but I do want to use it more and enjoy it more. For my hair product, I picked the Natural Conditioner, and it kind of got all funked up because, oh wait, maybe I, no, I'm about to there. And this is the only conditioner I use. I love it so much, but I really forget to use conditioner a lot of the time or I'm too lazy to do it, so this will help me use it some more, and I just love this stuff. It's awesome. Okay. A product that I don't like. I picked the Perfectly Posh Moon Over Sedona Body Butter. I picked this because I don't like the scent. It's like a green scent. I've barely used any of it because I just don't really prefer it over others, but it's one of my last body lotions to get through, so I'm just going to power through it and use it up. It's not a bad formula. I just don't like the scent. Okay. My favorite face product, I picked my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is my favorite thing I put on my face. When I typed this topic, I was thinking of a face makeup product, but when I thought of my favorite face product, it wasn't a makeup product, it was this. And so I marked my line up here. There's no way I'm gonna use all this up. I don't wanna use it all up in the next four months, but I do wanna see how much I use like over that course of time to just see how long it takes me to naturally use up this product. So I think that will help me to just gauge how often I'll need to buy it and stuff. I've repurchased this so many times, I love it. Okay, let me just finish up the last two non-makeup products. Your favorite body lotion, one of my family members picked this and that is definitely the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. Still has the label on it and stuff. I haven't even cracked into this. So I have three body lotions in this project. Then I only, I'll pretty much be done with all my body lotions. And then the last non-makeup product is a body scrub. And I picked the Bath & Body Works Wild Madagascar Vanilla. I'm about halfway done. I've been working on this anyhow. I love it so much. And my mom picked this category. Oh wait, one more non-makeup product and then we have a lot of makeup. This is a product from a previous project and this is the Tata Harper Resurfacing Mask. This is the Honey Blossom version. I had used up a full size of this last year in one of my projects and I don't intend on, like, I don't think I'll use all this up just because I don't want to, like, waste it and overuse it. But I do want to use it more because I really neglect this product because I save it since it's one of my favorite things. So I want to remember to use this some more and make a lot of progress on it in this project. So the rest is makeup. Oh my lord. Okay, so a cream product. I picked this Tyra Banks Cream Contour Stick. And this is pretty much completely new. But there's not tons of product. That is how much is in it. And I really, really love this product. It gives a really natural contour on my fair skin. And I rarely reach for this just because it's another step, but I think it would be really easy. You just make some lines on your face and then blend them in. So I'm excited to use this. And if I wouldn't have put it in this project, it probably would have dried up before I got to use it. Okay. There's a lot of eyeshadow in this. So, a product I loved in college, I picked the Sony Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte Palette, and I'm specifically going to work on this shade right here, which I don't know if you can tell, but it has a big dip in it. I love that shade. It's like a perfect match for my skin tone. So how I use it most of the time is just swipe it all over my lid before I do other eyeshadow. And it just is really beautiful. 
I love it so much. I never reach for this palette anymore. So having this whole palette in this project, but only focusing on that shadow, I'll still reach for this palette way more than I have in the past few years. So I love it and I'm excited about this a lot. My dad picked this category, my favorite eyeshadow, and I picked MAC Satin Taupe. So you guys know I'm working on Naked Lunch in my Project Pan, so now I'm working on its buddy, MAC Satin Taupe. I'm wearing both of these on my eyes today. This is my favorite, like, go-to eyeshadow look. It's just a staple for me, uh, so I'm going to try to hit pan on MAC Satin Taupe. MAC shadows are so, like, firmly pressed. It's like impossible to hit pan on them. I've seen Courtney K do it several times and she's my inspiration for this. So I'm channeling Courtney when I'm trying to hit pan on that. Okay, a lip balm. I picked my Fresh Advanced Therapy Balm. I love this. There's not much left, but this literally needs the littlest bit. This has lasted me months. So we'll just see how long that takes me. Okay, a colorful eye product. I picked the Shiro Beyond the Fence little pigment. So this is the most gorgeous green color. And let me just swatch it instead of spilling it out of this thing. Because it is literally so beautiful and I never use it. Oh my god. Yes! That is just gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to try to use this up. I think I'm a crazy person. So we'll see about that. At least it's a small size. A product that I carry in my purse, I picked my favorite lipstick, which is the Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Naked. And so I have this much left. This is the most gorgeous color. I love it to pieces. And I know that this will be no problem for me to use up, but I'm not going to rush through it. I'm going to enjoy every moment of it. We have four months together, and I will definitely repurchase this color in the future. A product that I've recommended in a video. I picked another eyeshadow. I picked MAC Satin Taupe. Am I a crazy person? I think I am. So what I'm going to do is actually take um, mulch out of my MAC palette and pop in uh, soft brown. Did I say satin taupe? I meant soft brown. I don't know what I said, but I'm picking soft brown. So then I'll have it in here and it'll just be a nice little palette. So I'll have like my basic colors and the ones that I'm working on. So what is wrong with me? I don't know, but I love MAC satin taupe. I did it again. I love MAC soft brown and I have recommended it so many times. I think it is one of the most necessary products in your makeup collection. I tried not to buy it for so long, and now that I have it, I love it. Okay, so I totally cheated on this one. This was the Close Your Eyes and Pick a Cheek product. I tried to do that, but I just didn't like what I was picking, so I totally cheated. I thought that I had really hard products already, so I decided to pick one, but this is still a really hard product. And I picked my favorite Chanel blush, my favorite blush pretty much in general. This is Rose Bronze. And it's very unlikely that I am going to hit pan because it is a domed product. But my friend Ellie, her blog is Beauty Products Junkie and she worked on this last year. And she made amazing progress. So I was really inspired by her and I just love this blush so much. And it is obviously an expensive product so I want to get a lot of use out of it and I'm I'm pretty excited about that. Another expensive product I picked for my a face product category is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere foundation. So this is the next foundation I wanted to work on after my Guerlain Lingerie de Peau which is my, in my um, Project 10 pan. So I thought why not throw it in here. I'm probably going to use up the Guerlain one in a month or two. Oh god. So I probably won't use all this up, but I'm excited to work on it steadily and I I really do like this foundation. Not sure if I would repurchase, but that will having it in this project will help me make that decision. So I'm excited to work on that. Oh, another non-makeup product. So this is what I picked for a long time favorite and this is the first A Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy Eye Cream. 
This is awesome stuff. So it's like a tinted eye cream and I marked them um, down to here. I just love this stuff so much and I was going to naturally use it up anyway, but this seriously is a long time favorite that I never talk about to you guys and I just love it. They also, so this is the like fair, it was the original color, so it's the more light color, but they now have a shade for medium to deep skin tones love this. It's not like super hydrating under your eyes, but it acts as like a corrector step before you do do your concealer. It's amazing. Okay, totally sadistic. I picked for my a mini makeup product, my Stila Patina. What am I doing? But I am super excited about this because this is such a gorgeous color and this was one of my only mini lip products or my own only mini like makeup products and god it's so 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 gorgeous and this is a color that would go with a lot and I was thinking about what seasons it's going to be while I was picking these products and I just thought this would be a really nice neutral color to go with any season and yeah okay for an old favorite, I picked the L'Oreal Infallible Eye Crayon in Enduring Rose. And I am still working on my Black Orchid color tattoo, but why not make it even harder on myself? So this is an amazing cream eyeshadow formula. This color is gorgeous. It goes really well in the inner corner, all over the lid. Maybe I'll try it as a face highlighter. I don't know. But... I really need to work on this because I've had it for a few years and barely have made a dent in it. So we'll see how far I get in this. I doubt I'll use it up, but we shall see. Speaking of highlighter, um, the category was your favorite highlighter hit pan. Picked another hard product. This is the MAC um, Light Scapade Skin Finish. So I use this so much. My friend Anna, who hasn't made videos in forever, I miss her so much. She got this for me for Christmas one year and I just love it so much. It's a beautiful natural highlight. I can wear this to work. I can wear this out. It's just beautiful. It also makes a gorgeous eyeshadow like just a sweep over the lid. Who knows if I'll be able to hit pan on this. I will work hard at it and it is something that I absolutely love and I want it to be true with my favorite highlighter. Any highlighter is going to be really hard to do, but why not use one that I could use every day instead of like a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector that is way too much for me every day and this is just right. Okay, only a few more you guys. A product that costs $10 or less. This is $9.99. <laughs> this is the Micro Brow Pencil from NYX and this is in Ash Brown. I'm not going to swirl it up because I don't know if I can swirl it back down. Well, I guess I can, but I'm just nervous. So I don't know how much I have left of this. I've really been working on this hard lately. So I'm hoping this won't last too much longer. Um, but I don't know. So I was excited that this is $9.99 because I didn't know what to put in that category and that just rocks. Okay, Marc Jacobs eyeliner. I picked for an eyeliner category and this is brand new. It's a mini, um, but I have not used it a single time and I've used one of these up before. I really like it. Hopefully it won't be too hard. Eyeliners take forever, but it's probably one of the easier eyeliners that I could pick because it's one of the smallest. Okay, two last products. They're both eyeshadows. An expensive makeup product. I picked Burberry Midnight Brown Eyeshadow. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. I have a little bit of a dent going over here. I will try to hit pan on it. I already have pan on my Pale Barley that I'm working on in my Project 10 pan and I would just love to hit pan on this one as well because it is one of my favorites. It's a very expensive product and I just love it. So I hope to hit pan on that in this project. And then the last product that I picked is another hard one. And this is an expensive product. And I picked my Chanel Illusion Dombre in Illusoir. So I wanted to pick this anyway, but then when I picked this up, it like fell out. 
So that is showing me that this is getting dry and I need to use this up. It's still really creamy when I touch it like to get a swatch or to use it, but it's definitely time to be used up. So I'm going to try to use this as much as I can. I'm going to swirl it up and stuff so it's not as dry. Um, but I'm really excited about this because it's one of my favorite products. I've had it for a few years now. I've used it a ton, but I don't use it as much as I should. And I really don't want, like, seeing it fall out of the container, meaning that it's getting dry, just breaks my heart. So it just solidified that I wanted to pick this product for this project. So you guys, what on earth have I done? This is the most insane thing I've ever done while on this YouTube craziness of project panning and stuff. This is, this is going to be a challenge for me and I'm so excited to just do this. This is so out of my comfort zone. This is so much fun and what is better to lead up to my 24th birthday than to do something totally insane. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was probably a super long video, but I just had so much fun picking these products, deciding on what I was going to pick, and then having my family be part of it. It's just really cool. And I hope some of you guys join me in doing a project that ends on the 4th of July, even if it's not 24 products or I have 30 products, but I hope to meet my goals on 24 of them. So that is a good thing. That is why I picked 30. I forgot about that for a second, but I hope to hit my goals on 24 of these products and maybe even more. That'll be super awesome. I just can't wait to see the progress that I make. And please let me know if you guys are going to join me on this, even if you do four by 4th of July or like 10 by 4th of July, that would just be really, really cool to have your support and to be doing this together. And if you're a crazy person like me, if you pick this many products in a roulette style, Girl, we should be best friends because <laughs> we are both insane. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know if you're doing any products, projects like this currently or you're planning on doing one and maybe this was a little bit of inspiration. This is just so much fun. I, I seriously love whoever came up with this roulette style because it's it just is crazy and really, really fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was so awesome to film. I can't wait to keep you updated on my progress and I will see you guys soon. Bye.